repeatedly testing over 100 machines over a thousand hours. That is the slogan. Yeah. <laughs> that is the catchphrase of a new 3D printer that we are about to talk about. Today we are going to look at the specifications, pros and cons for the Creality CR10 S Pro version 2. Yeah, you heard it right. After the CR10 version 2, there is a CR10 S Pro version 2 coming out. So prepare to be excited or sorely disappointed. If we just look at the CR10 S Pro version 2 in a vacuum, there is not much to talk about. But if we add for comparison the CR10 version 2 and the CR10 Max, then things change dramatically. Because there are instances where the print quality on the CR10 version 2 might be better than the CR10 S Pro version 2, all things being equal. So let's dig in. We don't really know too much except that the power supply is about 480 watts. That's insane. Even though I don't really know how much of that we really need, I guess we can heat up the bed and the nozzle in a second, power the neighbor's house and still have some left over to power a small country. The CR10S Pro comes with the BL Touch leveling probe. So now you can just fire up the printer and start printing, hopefully. Also, they claim that the firmware has been updated and the 3D printer boasts a 2.4.1 motherboard version with TMC drivers with 256 steps. So I'm assuming they are TMC2208 and that they are soldered onto the motherboard. So we don't know more about the motherboard, but it seems to have been available in the original CR10S Pro, or at least as an upgrade for that, and for sure in the CR10 Max, or maybe the Duet, I don't know that either. A further search for the TMC256 subdivisions revealed that these are indeed TMC's 2208s, so at least we know something now. We can also assume that the CR10 version 2 has a similar motherboard, if not exactly the same motherboard, and that is one of the things that is being equal. Speaking of which, the CR10 Max also includes the BL Touch, so eventually Creality had to adopt this for the CR10S Pro version 2, thanks to the sexy cyborg, kudos to you. But one thing the Max and the CR10 version 2 have that the Pro doesn't are the Z-axis support rods. I guess we can guess... Isn't that funny? <laughs> I guess we can guess that the gantry in the CR10S Pro version 2 could be prone to more vibrations than the CR10 version 2. Therefore, theoretically, the CR10 version 2 could perhaps print better at the same speed as the CR10S Pro version 2 but the Max could beat them both because of the dual motor on the bed dolly. Okay, that may be a bit of a stretch without further testing and it's all relative. I do not know when and if ever I'll be in the proximity of all these 3D printers at the same time to take them for a spin. But one can only hope... Uh... It is quite disheartening that they continue with the same hot end from the CR10 Max in the CR10S Pro rather than incorporate the new carriage and hot end from the CR10 version 2. To me, the CR10 hot end seems like a better option because it's all metal and you don't have to upgrade it to an all metal. Moreover, I really like the possibility to change from a Bowden extruder to a direct extruder on the fly, no upgrades needed. I thought that if they upgrade the CR10S Pro, they would continue on the same path. But apparently they use the same old tired CR10S Pro extruder. I know this extruder because I took it apart a few times. And an all metal direct extruder is better in my view. Always better direct extruders. They have the advantage. Less retraction, less grinding, less filament breakage. Less, 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 many lesses. <laughs> So technically speaking, I don't see the improvements yet, except that we can power a small country and the BL Touch. The rest seems to be like the old CR10S Pro. They don't even have the rods to stiffen the frame. In addition, if you take a gander at the artillery 3D printer, there's more meat on those bones in comparison with the Creality CR10S Pro version 2 and CR10 version 2. So unless this new V-slot rail technology was used as well on the CR10S Pro version 2, then it's just another 3D printer with the BL Touch rather than that nightmarish bed leveling probe I used to waste two hours tuning before I could start a 3D print. Whew! One nice thing is that they kept the dual gear extruder. Thank God for that. I just wish they would have made the hot end carriage compatible with moving the extruder to a direct extruder like in the CR10 version 2. Hey, but I see in the pictures they have a nice updated menu. I hope it works! And I have to say that one thing that the CR10S Pro version 1 and 2 have is the dual V-slot rails for the bed dolly as opposed to the CR10 and the CR10 version 2 which have only one rail for the dolly. 
I guess uh, they're equal now. But I still think the CR10 version 2 can print better as the CR10 Pro and CR10 Pro version 2. Now let's just look at the cons. Major con is not upgrading the carriage with an all metal hot end and the possibility to move the dual geared extruder from the far end Bowden style to the near end direct style extruder. That's a negative, they should have continued on this track, it was useful, people like change and when you have a long 2D print you rather reduce the speed, use a direct extruder so you don't break the filament and you have a problem because you could break the filament after the filament sensor and it will still continue thinking to printing so yeah that happens another negative is that they still use the flimsy v-slot rail check out the artillery 3d printer the force is strong with that one obi-wan kenobi <laughs> and the artillery 3d printer won't have a problem moving the direct extruder at least they could have done that put more meat on those bones another negative is that they do not mention specifically like in the cr10 version 2 the issue with the v-slot rails or the process of creating the new v-slot rails it might be a fake, anyway, fake news. <laughs> they do not mention the TMC stepper driver version and is not encouraging for new purchases, so that's another negative. The motherboard, based on the old 2.4.1 version, doesn't seem to include sockets for the steppers. So good luck with changing one of them if you need to. Moreover, good luck with adding a second hot end because I think the motherboard does not have the TMC driver for dual extrusion. Well, so much for DIY. And they do say DIY, but they do mention redundant information like the dual Z lead screws and the print resuming and some stuff that we have grown to expect. But the meats and potatoes, they don't. That's a problem. I just can't wait to see the disappointing CR10 S5 version 2. I wonder if they'll use the same skinny V-slot rails like in version 1 or they'll come to their senses and put some meat on the bones. But until then, I bid mon amis farewell and adieu.